actually, when I was laying there, Sean told Baby Earl to mm -hmm. tell me to climb up the ladder. Really? Yeah, Sean's, because they're bitching, get out of there, get out of there. Cause, really? You know, more matches, it's a pay per view. Go, come on, come on. Yeah, that's like one of my favorite matches. Yeah. Really? I hear him go, raise! And he's laying there, and then Earl comes over and goes, tell him to climb the ladder. No shit. And, and we get back, and Macho was so mad. First he goes, he goes first of all, I want to say great match. But second of all, you guys are very selfish. <laughs> oh, yeah? Because once you set it in motion, you can't speed it up. You know, you gotta... Yeah, it was, uh, what was Randy Savage like, like behind the scenes and stuff like that? Randy is the most intense guy I've ever been around, man. Really? You, you go to Randy, hey Randy, nice boots. Like, what do you mean by that? I mean, your boots are nice. Like, really? Cool as could be, man. Mox didn't know how cool he was. I love that guy, I man. Talk to him, I said, Mox, you realize that they make a commercial with a stick man. And it says, Beef Spice. I said, people all over the world know who that is, brother. Yeah. You know, I said, You're, you don't even know how cool you are, Mox. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love that I guy, man. Huge, imagine me, my first angle for Vince is against Randy. Yeah. And I'm doing interviews with him, with me and Gene, but Mach has these crazy baseball, I mean, cowboy hat on, and shades, so I can't see his eyes, and I'm so effing nervous, my first big time angle, you know? And, yeah. And, and he's spinning around, yeah, he's spinning around, and there's Gene Oakland, and there's Macho, like, what the f am I doing out here? Yeah, yeah, that's crazy, I was going to get exposed. I saw you wrestle him at the Long Beach uh, Convention Center like back in 93. Yeah, we did like, it was a TV tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was going into WrestleMania 9. Yeah. It was going like in a, they, you were there for like eight hours, you know? Oh, yeah. I think you might have wrestled Crush too or something like that. Probably something brutal. That was when Conan came in. Yeah. We were going to make him Max Moon. I remember that. Yeah. They made it, they gave him, they brought in his own luchador to work with and stuff. Uh -huh. thing is, he, if you don't come in the door the right way, you get chewed up by the other boys. So he gave him a little bit of attitude. And back on her. Do you have any cool uh, Owen Hart stores? Um, I knew Owen. I used to live next to him. We had trailers side by side in Germany uh -huh. for Autobots and CWA. We were in Japan together, man. I know Owen. I know a lot of Owen stories. Yeah, he was a pretty. He was pretty he was, awesome. He was one of the best rivers in our business. I saw Owen and Lex wrestle in some little spot show in Canada. Some little nothing happened in town. And Lex is with Owen. You know the head and the turnbuckle thing. Yeah. yeah. Owen took 50. 50 of them? 50. Because you really? people go, 7, 8, 9, 10, <laughs> yeah. Eight, eight. Then it was like, 27, 20, 30, <laughs> 40. And then, it's like, and then at the end, Lex is, Lex is laughing so hard that he doesn't even have his hand on his head. Owen's just doing it. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> hey, so what's up with the Hall of Fame, Scott? It's a word around the campfire. <laughs> Until you walk across the stage and actually get that ring. You never know, right? Yeah. Like one time, uh, the Rockers beat the Heart Foundation for the tag belts. Yeah. On Saturday night main event. Yeah, with the pole bullshit and all that. But the, the ring rope broke. Yeah. So they can't show it, so they didn't show it, and then they never won the belts. Yeah. They changed their mind. Yeah, I heard about so that. I ain't worried about this all fame until I actually walk across the stage. And yeah. Uh, like remember at WrestleMania 9 when you wrestled Bob Backlund, yeah. uh, he tried to do like some shoot bull on you and you like. Well, he he, would, he didn't want to take the reins of that. Oh really? So Vince said, "Listen, just beat him with the small back." So it was so stupid. I, I'm supposed to be the street fighter and I out wrestled the All American guy. Right? Yeah. But after that, Vince said, "That's it. We're turning you in." Because really? in town, they were starting to get with me, you know? Yeah, because you, you were like one of the best characters, you know? And so, uh, that's when they did the angle with Kid, you know, turn me baby face. One of my my favorite, um, like... This is a sweet-ass picture. Yeah, dude, that's badass. That's bad yeah, where like did that. you get this? No, oh, these... My, my favorite angle, or one of my favorite angles that you did as uh, Razor Ramon was with Bret Hart. Remember, like, R Royal Rumble 93? Yeah. Yeah, that shit was Sweet tight. Going into that, man. Yeah, I, I was watching it yesterday when you were like, hey, yo, Hitman, get some sleep, man, because you're going to need it. I'll see you tomorrow, eh? Do you want, what does this say? In the ring? That was, like, one of my favorite, like, moments ever, that NWO coming back. Yeah, it just, uh... Vince changed the finish, you know. He, yeah. We were supposed to beat Austin. 
Uh -huh. And the night before he calls us to meet us to his room with Kevin Hall, he goes, well, I just want to go over the finish. And he changed it. It's like, yeah, whatever, man. Really? I looked at Kevin Hall and said, meet you in the bar. That's cool, dude. I've been being a good boy up to then. Yeah. yeah. That isn't the way Vince did business before. Like with Angle with Kid, I knew six months ahead of time. Uh -huh. He never changed it the night before. Like, oh, Austin's going over because he bitches if he doesn't go over. Really? What's up with uh, like Jake Roberts and DDP? Like, Where are those guys at? Um, Jake's doing pretty good, man. He, uh, he just had cancer cut out of his leg. Yeah, I know. But uh, I talked to him and he said he's doing all right. Aren't you guys uh, like like aren't you like hooked up with DDP and them? Yeah, I live about two blocks from now. That's pretty. That's pretty cool, dude. I like what you're doing and everything. You know, I was re I was reading up on everything and I'm really like I'm happy for you that you're doing Thanks, that. Bro. You know, but it's really it's better than killing yourself. Yeah, you know, you're one of the greatest of all time, and you know what I mean? Everyone wants to see you do good.